Y'all thought y'all was getting rid of me? Who told you that? <laughs> y'all thought I was going to leave the rig it down situation alone? You crazy or something? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> now, y'all want to talk about rigging down style and compare it to the Mayweathers and talk about how great he is and the guys only had 12 pro fights. I don't care what he did as an amateur. This is a lot of people did a lot of stuff at amateur that didn't amount to didn't squat as a pro. Now, I won't take away from the fact that the man got skills, okay? I would be lying to you if I said Rigandow didn't have skills. But he's not what you think he is. He really is not. It's appalling to me that y'all would bring this guy to my attention. He beat no Nito done yet. He survived. If he didn't win the last round, he wouldn't have won the fight. Check the scores. Now let's look at Rigandow here. This is Rigandow's style. He's mostly a one-two puncher, but he normally punches only to put you in a position where he can escape. He wants to score points and get out of there in an amateur style. Score a flashy punch and get out of there. He throw one punch and the rest is just movement. That's your boy. That's Rigo. Look at it. Look how he moved. See? He ain't trying to get hit. He ain't even trying to be offensive. He, he, uh, they count all those as punches that he's throwing. And he's not trying to land nothing. He's just trying to get him out of position so he can duck and move. Now, I'm not saying he isn't elusive. He's very elusive, and he has a lot of good boxing skills. But, at an amateur standpoint, he needs to learn to fight a pro style. And what I mean by that is to sit down and throw and work on combinations. He's not a combination puncher. He's a one-two puncher, like most of the Cuban fighters that you've seen in your time. He's one of the greatest amateur fighting champions ever. Yeah. But normally when somebody had 300 amateur fights, it's because a lot of people was very suspect about them becoming a pro. They style translating over to pro style. So normally somebody got 300 something fights, you a little suspect on them. You feel me? Alright then. That was at, uh, by the way, that segment you saw was from um, from uh, Ronnie Shields' gym over there at Savannah Gym, when Ronnie was over there at Savannah at the time, when he was training with Ronnie Shields. Now here he is, trying to pad with Roger. Roger's trying to teach this man combination punching. But this isn't his style. This isn't his forte. Roger's trying to teach him how to fight pro style boxing. But Rigandow is not accustomed to fighting a pro level style. The style's not comfortable for him. So of course, he stopped working with Rock. Because he's not accustomed to standing down, throwing combinations, and then making people miss. And as you can see... You know, it's a learning process, but this isn't his style. And of course, he gave up on that. Now, what does this tell you? This dude has been from gym to gym, trainer to trainer, 
moving around because he wants to find something that's comfortable to his style. And, I mean, he got a great training now. I mean, that's the guy who's been working with him in the past, so that way he would know where he needs to go. Diaz is the perfect trainer for him. But to say this guy is going to be around and going to beat this guy, beat that guy, I can't see it. When Donito Lemieux rematch him, trust me, I will get all my money back and fold and then some. I'm going to get the money I should have got on the last fight plus my money back. Guaranteed. He will not beat Donito Lemieux ever again. 